So have you ever tried to do a video review of a black bag? It's, uh, it's really hard. This is the second time I've tried. I can't even do the intro right. A big part of it is that shooting a black anything is hard because details are hard to pick up and to show off and it's just, it's difficult. You know, I've got this white ass pale skin with this black bag, my white balance is all messed up. It's, it's a nightmare. But also, I don't script any of this, <laughs> obviously. And so, I'll, you know, I'll do a take and I'll forget something or I'll say something twice or I'll screw something up and I'll have to do another take. And this is like my I don't know, seventh or eighth take of this video. But I'm doing this for a reason. So like six months to a year ago, I decided I was going to test every sling I could get my hands on. And I did a bunch, like probably 10 to 15 bags. I did the Peak Design 3 liter, which is fantastic. And then Evergood sent me their HP 35, I think is what they call it. Whatever they call their sling bag. And that thing is built like a brick shit house. It's beautiful. It works well. Great bag. But this this company, which is Coat of Bell, and this is called the X Pod. I only have I've only had this bag for two or three weeks. This thing was what made me want to go through hell and shoot a black bag. And the reason why is it's just so incredibly versatile. And this bag has been out for a couple of years and there's a ton of YouTube videos, you know, doing reviews. So if you're looking for a sling, you've probably already seen some of those reviews. I am not going to go over every detail and every feature of this bag. It's been done. Um, the materials are great. It's X-Pack, ballistic nylon, uh, mostly Aquacard, YKK zips, and some Hypalon details here and there and straps everywhere. But what I thought I would do is just kind of unload this thing and show you how I use it and why it's so versatile for my use case. And my use case is basically on the road. I don't wear a sling in town when I'm at home. I just don't have a, a need for it. But when I'm on the road and I've got too much crap for my pockets, this is great. And let's start with the wing pockets. You can see the bag has these little wings and each side has a pocket. I only use one of them, and in this one, I keep my AirPods. And then if we turn the bag around, we have a back pocket, again, with the YKK zip and a little kind of zipper garage. And this is a nice padded pocket where I keep my phone. And we'll swing it back around, and we'll start with the rearmost organizational pocket. And this has a larger kind of uh, pocket with no zip, kind of a, eh, yeah. Kind of a flexible little thing and then two zipped pockets on this side and my first zipped pocket i keep just a wall adapter for my phone and on the other one a uh, swiss army knife and in the back one i keep a charging cable as well as just a bullet pen for emergencies and then we'll move into the main pocket of the bag and as I open this up, you'll notice there's a flap of, of uh, nylon in here, which kind of creates two pockets inside. This first one has a key lanyard, and I don't use these. I've always wondered if anyone uses these. I just put my keys on it for, I guess, demonstration purposes. And this one's pretty cool, actually. It feels good. It's uh, YKK branded. If I can fit, there we go. And then in the front pocket, I keep a wallet, which Pioneer, if you guys haven't discovered these yet, I don't know what the hell they're made out of, but they are incredible. I love these things. Nice, small, and compact, and they stay looking like new forever. This is almost two years old. Crazy. And then an AER or AIR mask. This is a. These are really comfortable. I'm afraid they aren't very effective. I don't know, so use at your own risk, I guess. So that's a typical, you know, I'll be honest, I staged all this, but that's a typical layout for a bag. And, you know, it stays really thin and compact. It gets out of your way. Really, really nice for that kind of a loadout. But when I am on the road, oftentimes I carry a camera with me. And if I have a camera with me, I probably want to be it to be protective. 
Um, an example is going to the beach. That's a nightmare scenario for a camera. You want something waterproof, keep water out of it. You want it tight just to keep sand away. And typically, uh, you know, a sling like this isn't going to do that for you. Wait, stop. Ryan from the future here. As I was editing this, I realized I didn't mention why or how this bag is so water and sand resistant. First, it's made out of X-Pack, which is a kind of a nylon ply, a sandwich of materials that in and of itself is really water resistant. And secondly, the zips, as I talked about earlier, are AquaGuard. And I've noticed that if I keep the zips instead of, you know, located in the middle of the bag, if I keep them, keep them tight together on the side, I haven't had any water or sand intrusion into the main compartment where I keep the camera. And same thing for the organizational compartment, it's AquaGuard as well. But that's why. Uh, it's a, a material choice that they made, and it is uh, surprisingly water and sand resistant. I would go so far as, I mean, I'm not dunking this in the ocean or anything, but I've had zero water or sand in the bag, and I've had the bag itself covered. So, yeah. Anyways, back to regular scheduled programming. And that's why the X-Pod is so damn special. So we have these compression straps on the front, right? If we unbuckle these, this unfolds, and now you have this huge compartment. Like, I don't know how many liters that is, but it's a lot. And I would like to, you know, put my big camera in here and show you how much it holds, but you're actually watching this through my big camera. So I just grabbed a little M body, which, you know, isn't a big camera, but it'll demonstrate how I normally use this. It goes in there with tons of room to spare. And then we can zip it back up and put the compre compression straps back on. I mean, there are just straps everywhere on this thing. That's the one. We'll get into that later. All right. So now that we're all buckled up, we'll close this too. We're still nice and compact, and yet we're holding a camera that. I don't know, I honestly, in the year that I've been doing this, I haven't found a sling that will actually hold my, my big mirrorless. This one will with ease, along with, you know, still having leftover compartments for organization. I, this thing's special, man. This is the one sling, like I said, that I found that I was like, oh, I'm excited about this. I should tell people, and here I am. And it's hell, and I'm still doing it, so you're welcome, I guess. Anyways... There are a few things about this bag that bug me. The first is the zipper pulls. They're made out of Hypolon, which is fine, but they're just so floppy. Like, listen, I can't stand the floppiness. I do, like, I can't wait to finish this review because as soon as I do, I'm cutting these off and I just put these like Goruck style zipper pulls on everything I have. They're super quiet, listen. And they're just, they get out of the way. And so I will be cutting these off and putting real zipper pulls on. The other thing is, a lot of people have, in past reviews, have had concern about the strap itself. It's got a Fidlock clasp on it, which is super nice. Works very well. But you have all this excess strap once you get it adjusted to where you want it. And in the past, if you had this thing slung around your back and you wanted to sling it to the front, these straps would get kind of all discombobulated and just kind of create a mess. I have not had that problem with this bag. And I think it's because Code of Bell added these plastic keepers. And it's just, honestly, it's a non-issue with me. Your mileage may vary, but yeah, the, the strap's been pretty good. I had planned on, you know, after I you know, read all the you know, negatives about it, I was actually going to cut this off and put a peak design strap on it. I, yeah, I'm not going to, there's just not a problem here. This is the most versatile bag I've probably tested on the site out of any of the bags. It's just, it's fantastic. It's made great. It's made just as good as that Evergoods bag. And it just does, it doesn't do anything excellent. It does everything good. And that's pretty rare. So yeah, there you have it. Code of Bell X-Pod. I went through hell for this. I hope you appreciate it. Or if you don't appreciate it, I hope you at least got something out of it. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you the next time.